right, good morning. Welcome back, my name is Braden Sharon. If you guys are new here, and we are rolling out. We've got Mike, the mullet man, came down. We've got Fisher, and he's blown out by the sun. We're all ready to rock. It is early season, so I'm not expecting like clean, clean water, but we're ready to shoot some fish uh, if we can see them. So really the name of today is try to find clear water and evade storms. Yesterday I went out and we were running from storms all day. So hopefully today is better, fingers crossed, and we can get into some some fish. So that's the game plan, um, or that's at least all I know right now. All right, just made it out. First stop, checking visibility, and there ain't no bits. <laughs> Looks like river water. Guys are jigging for a cobra. Maybe we can draw one up real quick before we move out deeper. Some spade fish. Ooh, you know I like them. <laughs> if all else fails today, we're gonna go in the murk for some spades. Just pulled up to the second rig. We're gonna tie up here and, and dive. It looks good enough for uh, for shooting. So. Time to go shoot some fish. Check that out. Absolute hammer. <laughs> they were all this big. Like that's average. Looking for a gag. I'm just trying to scope out as deep as I could. But this seems to be the the main shooter fish we've been seeing. Another good mangrove. 
goodies right there. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Dude, dude I was like, oh, okay, that's a red! Picture perfect, Ooh. baby. Dude, I was like, I, I like took a second class of like, no way, that's a freaking red! <laughs> oh boy. Quick cut here, gotta let y'all know that this video is sponsored by Navalis Apparel. Now an official sponsor of the channel, which I'm really excited about because they make performance bamboo clothing that I actually really do like. Wearing out on the water, on the boats, or just day to day, like right now. If you guys have never tried bamboo clothes, you gotta try it. Some of the most comfortable, softest materials you'll ever wear. I've been a big fan of it for a long time. I love it. and I'll just say Navalis's, it did not disappoint in the slightest. It is awesome. Also, a big thing I noticed about everything I've tried from Navalis is that the fit of everything is just spot on. It's tight in the right places, loose in the right places, and it's just perfect. Really love that about them. I think you guys will enjoy this stuff as well. They've got hooded long sleeves. That's what I like to wear on the water for extra sun protection. They've got shorts that are awesome regular long sleeves, collared pullover style long sleeves that are really nice. They ought to have something that you'll like. Honestly, I've loved everything that I've tried from them, so you can't go wrong. If you guys are interested, I'm going to have a link to Navalis' site in the description box below, and I also have a discount code for y'all where you can get 15% off your order. If you do that, you'll also be supporting the channel. So huge thanks to you guys, as well as Navalis, for sponsoring today's video. All right, we are getting serious. Out here, there's, we saw a cobia just now. So there's that. It's also a really good chance for African pompano. Anything out here. So, uh, got the slip tip ready to rock. Water's looking a lot cleaner. 
Mike likes this this water a little better. I don't know who's shooting the coke. The mullet man's going after the coke. Gotta eat good around these parts. Oh yeah, catch y'all in the water. Yeah, there's a big school of mangroves. There's a massive lionfish. Dude, shoot the lionfish. I want to shoot him with this gun. I will. Next, next time. How deep is it? Pretty deep. I was probably 70. It's probably the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> Too deep to shoot. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't that much bigger than the mangroves. The lionfish was gone. Lionfish never moved, and that thing was gone. I landed right where he was at. Mullet man got it. Uda. That's your average sizer right there, huh? <laughs> Golly. Give me that cobra.
Right when we get out of the water, <laughs> like clockwork, dude. Gosh, they had a perfect shot on him. That's awesome, dude. I wanted some. Of course, the GoPro was Me. dead. Well, where's the other freaking one? Look at that. That's a proper size one. this dude got him darting around trying to hide
Instagram. Segue aí, Pi. I thought he was dumping me and I got my hand got stuck. This is what we came for right here, baby. I just went down to dive prior. On a, there was a 100 pound Kubera. I was about to pull the trigger on his head, but there was too much space that first dive. But there wasn't any rig for him to wrap up in, so if I didn't stone it, we would have lost the fish. Like it would have been too deep. So then I came over here to dive again to see if they'd stick around. And I saw another Kubera. It was too deep, it was kind of swimming down. Then I saw a Cobia out here. And then I look up out and further, there was a ham ray pea. right there baby hell yeah that's a tank yes sir oh my gosh hey that's a stud that's, a, that's so cool thank you for getting over there Fisher I got kind of sketched because he was he was running so hard. I was so out of breath. I was like, I looked up. I was like, I looked up. I was like, where the hell's Brain? It's getting drugged out here. The fish literally was dragging me. I think maybe this was my blessing for not pulling the trigger. Yeah. I was lined up on a hundred pounder. And like, I had the over the top headshot, but all I saw below it was no rig. And I was like, I'm either stoning this fish or I'm never gonna land it. So you want them to get hung up? Well, so I don't go, go too the, deep. They go to the bottom, they're, done, they're gone. And I would just feel horrible, <laughs> like, like, that sucks. Like, mm -hmm. you know, fish like that. It's one of those conflicting shots, dude. Just, How uh, far of a shot was this one? This is far. I was leading it. That's why I hit him in the nose. When I went down there to shoot him again, he's shaking his face like a hooked fish. Yeah. Like he yeah. wasn't injured at all. He's just tired. Mm -hmm.
He swam this way. There's a, a permit down there. Really? Kind of a little deeper than where I was at. Right over here. I don't know. I, I saw him for a second and then I kind of lost him. But uh, I'm going to look for him. Up to you. Where can I dodge APs? Might have been dumb. I just shot that Covia. The one we just saw. He just dove really far down. Cobia, he freaking spazzed. I tried to stone him. He's stuck. I should have waited and let him follow me up, I guess. Coming. Alex, he's coming. Pull the line and I'll shoot him. Brayden, do you want to get in and shoot? I got oh. another shot. I'm ready. Dude. What'd I say? A little bit of slack? A little bit of slack, let him work out? <laughs> oh, baby. I was about to be super bummed out. I tried to stone this Kobe. I stunned it. I thought I got him. Probably shot him a little deep, deeper than I should have. Yeah. He's big. You don't know hey. how lucky you got, dude. I'm spotting all these cobia that y'all are shooting. <laughs> hey, thank you for working that out. Well, what I was saying hey, a second ago. You need to pull fast because he's still by the rig, okay. dude. What I was saying a second ago is if I would have pulled the trigger on that big Kubera I saw and I didn't stone it, he would have gone way down and tangled up just like this fish. But the chances of him coming out, way, way, way lower. He's stuck now. There he goes. Dude, he's gotta be close. Here he is. Yeah. We might have to be driving home to get all this fish in the freezer. Hell, he's dead. He probably smashed himself. Got again. him. Big Cove. Dude. Big Cove. Today is insane. Yes. Holy. There you go, dude. It's like a fish pounder. Not more than that.
Goodness. It's a big boy. That right there, good eats. How to clean the fish, hell of a day. Biggest AP, got some stud cobras, haven't had those in a while. And I've just been thinking about that Kubera. I think I did the right thing. I mean, if I didn't stone that fish right there, then I, I seriously don't think there would have been any chance of landing it. And there was a straight shot too deep for us to recover, so. Guess it's better to not shoot, not pull the trigger, than be sick from uh, losing the fish like that. There we go. The AP Gold Brass. The 20. Oh, 26. Oh, 27. 27. I bled it. Cool. Oh. 